welcome to our XXL room tour of our model car collection. We are in the so-called collector's room, our own little museum spread over two rooms with an all-around 360 view. In this video series we take you along with us showing our collection of more than 17,000 cars. The number is constantly growing so that you get an overview of our models in total. You can find our collection in digital form on our official website at www.toycarsity.club. On car collection you will find appropriate models of every single car brand from A to Z. Have a look, you will find the link in the video description. Before we start, we'd like to thank today's sponsor of this video, Carburide. You might know the problem. You drive an old Nissan from the late 90s, it doesn't have heated seats on board in the reverse, the steering wheel is on the wrong side. That's why you should focus on the essentials. Carburide, an all-in-one solution, will help you out. Finally, you can search how to navigate your nearest store for a hot wheels hunt. It's a perfect all-in-one radio and navigation solution with tons of features. Oh, and finally, I got something to charge my phone. Usually an old Nissan can offer are tons of useless cables. The product quality is very good and it comes with two different brackets for mounting. The installation is very easy. If you have holes in the dash like me, well, they got covered straight away. The arm is movable, so you always have a perfect side to your system. Plus, you have many inputs for your devices. And of course, Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto are pre-installed. Product link is in the video description. With the coupon code TOYCOSEDIC you save another 15%. In this video we focus on loose models with the car brands starting with letter A. Loose means that they were cracked out of their packaging and now displayed in such transparent boxes. You can get them also in our shop, link in bio. It all starts with A for Acura, the American version of Honda since 1986. Among them is the Acura NSX, which was released in numerous colors by Hot Wheels. Even a rare Super Treasure Hunt, here in golden yellow, has made into our collection. Others will recognize the NSX from the ninth part of the Fast and Furious franchise. With the red and blue NSX, it's nice to see the difference that Hot Wheels first released the NSX concept from 2012 and then the definitive variant from 2017. Next, we have the GT3 version of the NSX in red and blue. And on the other side, a nice selection of Integra models. Hiding in the back rows are mostly other color variants. The nice models are mostly placed at the front and the ugly versions at the back. Based on the GT500 NSX, we have some models from Hot Wheels but also a very detailed version from Kyosho. There were even NSX models from Speed Machine series at the time. We continue with numerous colors variants of the 1990 NSX. And we also have added this NSX for a reason of space from Honda this time. You will see later we run out of space at Honda again. So then of course we have the NSX racing version and on the bottom the Pandem body kit from Inno64. We continue with A, which of course includes Alfa Romeo. Behind Julia models from Matchbox, we see several color variants of the famous 8C. Right next to it is the Veloce and the QV version of Julia from Majored. And behind them are the AC Spider from Mini Jams and 4C from Matchbox over there. And also brand new are these Julia GTA and GTA M from Tarmac Works. They actually did a phenomenal job in detailing. And just look at these colors. The GTA M is a bit different. It has a roll cage and a bigger spoiler. Both come in the same colors. Also the Alfa Romeo F1 models from Spark should not be missed. In my eyes, last year's livery was a lot nicer than this year's. But everything is a matter of taste. This one is actually the livery from 2022. Furthermore, Alfa Romeo was much, much better than this year. 
And last but not least, there are some Siku and Moderate models from the 4C Coupe and Spider. One of the most beautiful cars ever, the Type 33 from 1969, which we put on our Alpha podium. Beside the color version, we have the DTM Legend in the back, the Alfa Romeo 155 V6 Ti. This one came from Mini Jams and also from Hot Wheels. This one is from Hot Wheels and got a much brighter red color. Now we come to Aston Martin. Behind the GT car we have the Apollo IE from Siku. But we finally ordered a nice premium model on pre-order to honor the Apollo a bit more. Next to it we have the DBS Superleggera from Tarmac Works, which is also very well done. In the back we have the 2009 LMP1 from Norev. To your right we also have the DBS Superleggera as a Need for Speed Police Call livery from Tarmac Works and a couple of Vantage GT8 models from Majorette. Then there is the 177, which we also have available in numerous color variants, also as the Hot Wheels ID, as you can see there, the color is just awesome. In the back are a couple of V12 GT3 cars from 2012, as well as the Hot Wheels ID variant in the front, up there. Above there is the Vantage GT3 from Pop Race and the new Hot Wheels models of the Vantage GTE. From Matchbox there are the DBS Volante variants in different colors. And just recently we found a Vantage GT4 from Siku, which actually looks pretty good, but unfortunately as we know it from Siku, a little bit too big. An absolute highlight therefore are the two color variants of the Aston Martin Valkyrie from Pop Race. One time in a yellowish color and another one in silver. The manufacturer has done a mega job. We featured them separately on our website. Feel free to check it out. Behind them are the sister models from Hot Wheels, the S Martin Valhalla. And next to it are the DBS Coupe models. Above is the Wankish V12 from 2002 by Kyosho and also the Rapid S by Kyosho. To the right, there are several color variants of the Aston Martin Vulcan and the V12 Speedster from Hot Wheels in black, white and the silver tone. Then we have a lot of Vantage V8 coupe models, unfortunately not the Roadster. And next to them there is the Vanquish above, the final edition from 2018 and also the Segato from Tomica. Behind that, there's the DB10 from James Bond Spectre. On the right, we have the DBR1 from Matchbox, numerous color variants, which was an ultimate racing car legend. Another highlight is the AMR22 from 2022. Thanks to Spark, we have these great Formula 1 models in such a beautiful livery. And of course, you see some packaged Aston Martins over there as well. Up next, Audi must not be missing from A, starting with the 2002 RS6 from Matchbox and Warriors color variants. In the sandwich there's the RS2 from 1994 as the Super Trash on. In the back we do have the RS5 and the RS6 from Hot Wheels. Then we have the Mini GT RS6 in a later generation. And far on the right, the Sport Quattro S1 from 1984. The two S1 over there are definitely our favorites. And of course, we also do have some package variants, as well as from the R8. Moving on, we have the 2019 R8 Spider from Hot Wheels, as well as the V10 Plus from Tomica above, or the V10 4S from Majorette. Here you can see the tune-up models from Majorette, of which we have also made a separate video. From the R8 we have numerous other racing versions which are directly integrated into our racetrack. We've made a separate video for that as well. On the racetrack for example we have this LMS from 2015 and also the LMS Pro from 2019. This one there is the LMS EVO 2 from 2002 
from 64, so Para 64, which is also a great piece. Above, we do have the IMSA GDO from 1989, and behind it, there are even more R8s from 2007, as well as the LMS from 2009. So here is another view of the legendary IMSA GDO, which has added some extra paint for a little bit more details to make it look a bit better. Then there's also a lag apt with the RS5R and RS6R from Mini GT. We already pre-ordered the RS7R, which is coming next soon, hopefully. Then there's the R8 LMS as well as the S4 Coupe from 1997 and some e-tron TT RS and several generations of the Audi TT as well as a customized RS6 over there. Above we do have the Motorrad A1, some Q4 and S4 models on the back and on the bottom the R18 LMP1 from 2014. Of course, next to Renault we have A like Alpine which is the A110 from Hot Wheels. Beside the trackside F1 edition from 2021, Majorette has released the 2600S from 1970. Continuing at A, there is also Alpha Tauri, which was produced by Spark. Over here as well, the 2022 livery looks much better than the last year's version. Beside Mini Cooper, there is also the Austin Mini, for example as a delivery van, a taxi, pickup or Mr. Bean's Mini. Because of spacing, we put all the Minis, the Austin Minis and Morris Minis together. Hot Wheels made also the Auburn Speedster, an old American brand from 1935 in different versions. Which also looks very good in the good old fashioned car design. Last but not least, there's the British Austin Healy. Matchbox released several color variants of the Mark II and Hot Wheels as well. So that's it. Which brand with the letter A is your favorite? Feel free to write it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the other videos of the series. See ya!